How do I tap churro? So Andy Mark has two extrusions that are labeled churro. We have half inch churro, which is half inch across the flats. We have churro light or three eighths churro. Each one of these are used for lightweight structure or very lightweight power transmission using the hexes to power maybe a lightweight conveyor or a lightweight structure. Both of them have holes in the end. This hole is the pilot hole for a quarter inch or a quarter 20 screw. This is the pilot hole already drilled, the right size for a number 10 screw. Notice I didn't say 1032 or 1024. There's actually a couple different screws that could go in here. If you make a 1024 thread into the churro, you can't use a 1032 screw in it. You have to continue to use the 1024. So people tap this hole in the end in order to put a screw and a washer there in order to have things go on the churro so it doesn't fall off. So the first way to do it is the traditional way. I'm gonna use a, a thread cutting tap with a tap handle and I'm gonna drive it into the pilot hole. So this is the traditional way to tap an aluminum or a steel hole or even plastic and you back it off. Every couple turns, you do a turn and you back it off. That method is, is good, but it's kind of slow because you're doing this by hand and it takes you a while to do, especially if, a, if you have a lot of churro to tap. Regarding the quarter 20 tap in the churro, let me talk about the screws that will go in it. This is a socket head cap screw. It has a round quarter 20 shaft. It's already threaded and you would drive this into the pre-threaded holes into your churro. This is the same kind of screw, except it has a hex head. It's a round shaft, quarter 20 threads. Same thing, you would pre-tap your churro, put your screw in, easy peasy. Now, this screw is special. It's a quarter 20 screw. The ones we sell have a hex head with a flange, and if you spin it in your fingers, you can tell that the shaft isn't round. It's a trilobular screw shaft, it's shaped in a bit of a triangle with rounded corners. And what that does, it actually rolls the thread in the churro without it needing to be pre-tapped. You can take a churro with no threads already cut into it. And in this case, it's a 3 8 driver. You can drive it into the churro. It's cutting its own threads into the churro. If you get good at that, you can take an assembly drill, take a 3 8 inch nut driver, go into an unthreaded hole, Hold this with a half inch wrench so it's, it's threaded all the way down. And now I have a threaded hole. This is a lot faster than the thread cutting method. A way not to do it is to drive a regular socket head cap screw or a hex head screw, which has, doesn't have the tri trilobular shaft, it has a round shaft. You can't just drive that into a naked um, untapped churro because the threads aren't there and these are not thread forming or cutting screws. So you can't drive it in unless there's a pre-tapped hole in this churro. After you get your hole tapped, usually people put a washer on it, put your screw on your churro. Now my assembled churro, I have my screw holding the washer onto the churro and I can put on a wheel. That keeps my wheel from falling off or a hub, or a bearing, or a sprocket, or whatever you wanna do, color clamp. But that, that's how people use these churros. One thing to watch for when you're tapping your churro, keep your tap handle straight, collinear with your churro. You don't want it to be crooked either way. In the same manner, as you're driving your screw in, you don't wanna come in at an angle. You wanna be straight parallel with the churro itself. We use churro a lot here at Andy Mark in the am one for u uh, drive chassis for FRC. We use them a, a whole bunch in FTC um, game set components. If you can get good enough where you can use the trilobular screws and an assembly drill, you'll do these things really quickly. And that is how you tap churro.